Hello, everyone. I know I should be speaking in English, but I'm not really good at it, so please allow me to speak in Japanese. And as a, a Patrick introduced me, I felt like I expected to say hi. So regarding the gender, a same-sex partnership ordinance, there has been quite a lot of a media hype. Um, regarding the issuance of the certificate of the same-sex marriage uh, will be uh, was discussed and it was passed at the city assembly. Oh, that's wonderful. And there has been quite a lot of uh, uh, discussion and why suddenly this topic is uh, picked up and why Shibuya. But actually, it took me three years, so it was a long story to me. Why I came up with that idea? Well, when I proposed it, that was three years ago, that was uh, when I was a uh, word assembly, and actually I was uh, doing it for uh, t 12 years in three terms, and I've discussed the various uh, uh, topics. And why I came to this decision? Well, the encounter started out uh, with when I was uh, 20 years old, when I went to the States for pleasure. I'm 43 years old, but at that time, it was around uh, 20 years ago, so uh, United States, I mean, there was quite a lot of graffiti in the subway system, and the world was talking about uh, AIDS a lot. So when I went to the States, I went there by myself. Actually, I was uh, with my friend and when I was on, on the subway and saw a lot of graffiti, and there were uh, quite many um, tall guys, Americans, who looked scary. So because I didn't have any knowledge about the United States, I, w I felt a little scary. I went to Mitchell Podium Museum, and then also went to Washington, D.C. to visit uh, Mesopo uh, Mesopotamium uh, Museum. And uh, I was actually approached by quite many gay people. That was a quite a unique experience um, four times altogether during my stay in the States. And there is a great club in Washington, so he asked me out to go there. I didn't feel so... Um, disgusted, but I was caught by surprise. And what really surprised me is that when I went to San Francisco, I saw a couple of a Mohican hairstyle man and a, a middle-aged man. And I really felt that there is a huge difference between Japan and the U.S. And I grew up in Harajuku when I came to Tokyo. When I looked around, there were quite many gay people around me, like hairstylists and other people. So I started to recognize those people around me. And when I joined the company, and actually I worked for advertisement agency, and there, in the creative world, there were quite many LGBT people, and they were obvious LGBT, or they were some secretive or covert uh, LGBT people, and I don't know why, maybe I looked like a gay, but uh, quite many of them came out of the closet and shared the secret with me. And they turned out to be quite uh, extraordinary. So uh, maybe they felt positive about their gender identity and they felt uh, the confidence strong enough so that they came out of the closet. So I was quite, quite impressed with them being great. And of course, we went out for a drink at the uh, so-called uh, uh, gay bars. So when I started to uh, build relationship with them, it came normal to me. And through that experience, after I turned 30, I uh, plunged into the world of politics. And rather than becoming a um, politician, I always worked as a producer. I really wanted to just produce a wonderful uh, city. I grew up in Harajuku and uh, hanged around in Omotesando uh, and Shibuya. So I really uh, wanted to uh, transform those uh, cities that I grew up in. And I actually established an uh, NPO called the Greenbird to uh, pick up the garbage among the young. So the young people will uh, enjoy cleaning up their uh, city that they love. And the transgender guy 
actually he was she at that time so she wanted to become a man even though her uh, body was a woman but her mind was a man so i found her a very boyish a girl but now she transformed into as she desired a complete middle-aged man and when he was a little he had to attend girls school so she had to dress up in a girl's uniform and the socks she felt so uncomfortable dressed up in that clothes but because of the environment she had to attend that school and of course the relationship with her parents or his parents were quite tough she wanted to become a man but that didn't come out so naturally so i uh, talked to, uh, with her or she at that time quite a lot and she was planning to uh, publish a book at that time and she shared her passion to share this uh, gender identity disorder issue and I didn't know how to deal with that situation at that time but now the situation is natural and I can just half jokingly say that they oh you are just a transsexual person so what I felt at that time through that experience that they, I mean, he was extraordinarily talented and so were the other people who came out of the closet. Those people that I met were former men and on TV quite a, a famous LGDP uh, people are also former men and he was my first former woman and he told me that the, actually there are quite many people who are like him and it uh, was a 5%, but now it's up to 7%. So that means approximately 7 million of the Japanese are LGBT. It's quite difficult to really grasp what that means. So let me just cite um, the names example. Sato, Suzuki, Tanaka, Takahashi. Those are the very uh, popular uh, family names. And it's as many as them. So then you may uh, realize it's quite high, but you don't feel like it's that high. But those who met me were former men who came out of the closet were even fewer than them. So that means that the even former men, former women who cannot really share or come out of the closet are quite many. So it's I'm solely confusing. It's he or her, or it's so confusing. So anyway, it was a she uh, but became uh, a man so there are quite many who are like them so this a five percent i thought is not just a statistical number it's a real number of the people who are lgbt so that came a normal notion to me so when i also uh look at the statistical number uh, for the uh, dis physically disabled people it's about the same and they receive the subsidy from the government or the municipal government. So I realized that the LGBT people are not receiving such support. And I thought it would be great to have a same-sex marriage, but at the layer of the municipal government, what are the things can we do? And I'm married I, with the three children, and my wedding ceremony took place at the restaurant in front of my friends and i romantically said that the, that was when uh, we got married but when i actually submitted the marriage certificate to the city office that's when i really felt that the, we got married rather than in the wedding ceremony in the restaurant so in Shibuya, what if a certificate is issued to recognize your bond with your partner? And then uh, Humio, uh, the former one, I asked him and whether you, he, you, uh, he would like that idea. And then he said, that would uh, make me really happy. So that was about five years ago when I had the conversation with him and then three years ago I made an official proposal at the city assembly and in the past when the LGBT people raised this issue it was treated as the issue of the human rights but I proposed it as the diversity issue and now Shibuya 
should be developed into more international city. And as an international city, I think it's a norm uh, that you deal with the, this kind of situation. And culturally, Shibuya has great potential to disseminate more information. And the LGBT, LGBT people have this tremendous ability to be able to contribute to the dissemination of such cultural information from Shibuya. So LGBT people without shame can live proudly in Shibuya, not just a matter of the human rights. For more diversification of Shibuya, I thought LGBT should be respected. And my predecessor, then uh, mayor, uh, he is. Uh, he will be turning to 80 years old. He's a uh, rather old guy, and he cognitively understood it. But it took a difficulty for him to really grasp it in his heart. But I had a personal experience approached by gay people, and that um, took me by surprise. But I s gradually accustomed to this idea. And then two years later, I made a proposal. Uh, that was uh, July last year. And in January this year, um, there was a report indicating that the, such a certificate should be issued. And then the bill was passed in the last assembly. So it was not suddenly uh, happened out of the blue. To me, it has a very long underlying story behind this. But this is just a baby step to me. I now. I'm a mayor, and in October, or at the latest, by the end of this year, we hope to be able to issue uh, the certificate, and that will change Tokyo. And I hope that will lead to the change of Japan. But I didn't think it was that difficult, but the, a lot of uh, media is uh, talking about this because I'm just uh, making the normal right uh, for the normal people. But if we can drum up a more support and interest from the people. Of course, I'm not that naive to think that the, I should change the world. But I hope to be able to see the burgeoning opportunity for change. And I hope to be able to accelerate the speed of the transformation, formulation of laws, what's considered to be uh, the politics job, but actually our job is to create the ambience, the environment to change. And the Paralympics will be also held soon in Japan, and it's similar to LGBT issue. Of course, supporting minority is important, but uh, we need to change the majority, us. So the physically disabled people will be inspired by the Paralympics. The London Paralympics, I was quite impressed with that. I really love the poster. Those who are missing limbs and um, sitting on a, a wheelchair, the, the tagline said that they meet the super uh, humans. And those who needed our support are now the inspiration, the source of our admiration. You may think that I am naive, but London, Paris, uh, in Shibuya, you know, we should be as good as them. If you come up with any creative ideas, please come and visit us in the city office. In the past, city office was considered to be the uh, window for the uh, complaints, but I also would like to accept the positive proposal. Of course, we would handle uh, your complaints as well. I am the type of person who would grow with compliments. So, and so is everybody. So with all of you, I hope to be able to create Shibuya even more intriguing, interesting city. Thank you very much.